right, you've created a quiz or a test in Blackboard and you're ready to set up Proctorio where you can do things like lock down the browser um, and so on. The first thing you have to do is there's actually an extension of Proctorio that you have to add and you do it through Tools and then Secure Exam Proctor. So you already have your test loaded in here and so tools and then secure exam proctor now here typically you just call it the same thing secure exam proctor and you don't have to change anything just hit submit all right the next thing you have to do is tell it to enable i'm just going to move it maybe right above there there we go and so you have to enable it into your browser. Now, Proctorial says use Chrome, so use Chrome. So I click on it and it tells me that um, it's successfully installed and please return to your course. All right, now you open up your quiz, test, whatever you have. So I'm gonna go to, I click on the down arrow. I go to edit the test options. In here, as I kind of scroll down and look around, I haven't made it available to the students yet, but hopefully you know you have to do that, right? <laughs> or the students can't take it. Um, make whatever changes you want in here, but the big part right here is going to be um, the proctorial part, which is all the way down at the bottom, proctorial settings, remote proctoring. Now from here is where you can kind of pick and choose what you want. Um, probably don't want to record video since most students may not have video. You can do, you can turn things off, probably could record the screen, um, only one screen. You could disable new tabs so they can't open up a bunch of different tabs. So this part right here is kind of up to you what you want to do, okay, your settings. Again, the verification. A lot of this stuff we probably don't want to use right now because of not knowing if our students will have actual cameras. And so um, once you decide once what you let them use in here, you might actually save this profile so you could reuse it in all your other sections if you're teaching more than one course. And that's pretty much it. The big thing, though, was knowing that you had to enable the Proctorial extension in Chrome under that Tools and Secure Exam Proctor. All right, so you have added the Secure Exam Proctor extension in your Chrome. As I just showed you how to actually set this up with Proctorial settings, and you'll see now here it says remotely proctored. So if I click on it and see if I can actually pass my quiz, not sure about that, this pops up. And so whatever instructions you give to your students, you hit continue and this will automatically go through the proctorial password and say this exam is being monitored by proctorial and basically whatever you had set up record screen, not let them open different tabs and all that good stuff. And so now it finally opens up their actual quiz. And so they can go through, take the quiz. I might know all the answers already. And then they can submit their quiz. And this part right here to the student, once they get in, it's not really going to look that much different. Okay. But it's, it's more of if automatic, what the heck? I miss it. It's just automatically um, that password is going to actually appear for the student and let them in the actual test. And they won't be able to get the password like to give it to anybody else.